Hello mate and welcome to another exciting Unity video. In this video we are going to create a script which is going to allow us to control our camera with our keyboard. First thing we want to do is obviously start a new project. It can be 2D or 3D, it doesn't really matter for this demonstration. The keyboard controls will operate in much the same way. The only difference is that in 3D you need to assign controls for forwards and backwards as well as for left, right, up and down. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder just by right clicking in our project, create folder, and then we're just going to call this one scripts. You don't have to do this. It's just nice to keep everything organized in the right place. So creating a scripts folder is helpful. And then what I also do is create another new folder and this one's going to be called camera because I may have multiple scripts that control the camera or affect it. So it's a good idea to just again, compartmentalizing everything. Next thing we're gonna do is create a C-sharp script like so. And I'm just gonna call this one camera movement like so. And as you can see, it's created a blank script there for us and it's uh, not currently attached to our camera. Now, a little bit of a guide on using unity for those people who've never done it before as well as writing our scripts what we can do is create a link between a script and a game object so our camera is a game object and as you can see here this little blue square down here actually shows you what the camera sees and we can adjust that if we want to so that we have a completely black screen i generally prefer to have a black screen just because it's um, maybe I'm just a bit old school. What we have to do is drag our script. When we've got our main camera selected in the hierarchy up here, we're gonna drag our script into the bottom of the inspector for our main camera. And now you can see that we've actually assigned our script to our camera. Now, don't necessarily have to just have this script assigned to one camera. You could have multiple cameras affected by this single script. It's entirely up to you how you do it, but we'll just keep this nice and simple. So all we've done, we've got our main camera here and we've got our script and we've assigned it to our camera object. Now I'm gonna double click on that and then it will load Microsoft Visual Studio. And now what we can see is that we have our script. Nice and simple, this script. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a private and this one is going to be a vector three and I'm gonna call it camera position. Then I'm going to create a header. And I'm gonna call this one camera settings. Now there's a reason I didn't do this before this class up here, before this property up here, and that's that this is a private property. We don't want this accessible to anything else. We'll just keep that private. Now I'm going to add a public and this one's going to be a float and it's going to be called camera speed like so I'm just going to add a space in there just so that we can see that it's separate now if i save this and we come back to unity and then i select my camera what you can see in our script section here now is that we actually have a section to add camera settings that was the header i created and then camera speed is a property that we can now uh, add here so we don't need to set that in here in our code we can actually set it in the uh, in the actual unity constructor itself nice and simple in our start what I'm going to do is I'm going to say camera position equals and then we'll get rid of that because I hit tab and we're going to say uh, this dot transform transform position like so so what we're doing is when we actually initialize this class what we're doing is we're setting the position of value for camera position to the same position as the object to which this script is attached so in this case we've said this and if we right click on that what you can see is that it can be simplified but We'll just leave that to this dot transform dot position at the moment because we're actually going to update it now in our void update what we want to do is we want to say if open brackets input dot get key 
key code and then we will have key code dot w so if we press the w key then we're going to say camera dot uh, camera position plus equals camera speed now we're going to divide it by 10 and there's a good reason for that which you will see very shortly the reason being is that we need our camera position to move by a amount that's going to be useful to the to the player and we want our values in our camera speed to be again usable there's no point having them being 0.001f or anything like that because that doesn't make much sense it's nonsensical so what we do is we set this to zero now if we set it to one which is pretty rapid so what we're doing is we're dividing it by 10 so that that is a little bit more controllable so what i need to do is set our next if and we could just copy this as much as we wanted to really and we'll say camera dot position minus equals like that in fact before i do anything else what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to fix this error because it's annoying me having the red line there so we're just going to copy the variable name there just going to paste that in there to make sure we've got that correct what we also need to do is we need to say dot y there because we're only changing the y coordinate and we're going to put dot y there as well there we go that's better no red lines around that's make makes life a lot easier now we're going to just do this two more times now so we've got ws now we're going to go for a and we're going to go for d and then we're going to change these to camera position dot x there and x there as well so now we've got a situation where we can run our code what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the code and I'm going to make sure that we keep our camera selected so that when I press the buttons, you will see something happen. But of course, you aren't going to see anything happen because we have nothing in the game to actually allow us to control it, to, to see if we're moving. And also, we have one more command that we need to add to the end of our code. Now we need to reassign this value to this value, or rather, we have to set this transform position as what our camera position is. So we'll say is this dot transform dot position is camera position there you go the code already knew what i wanted to do before i even did it now you can see it's recompiling our code and if i hit the play symbol now with our camera selected again nothing in the scene to allow us to actually move so we're going to create a new game object this one's just going to be a 2d object and it's going to be a square in the center of our screen and it's going to stay put like so So our final thing is we need to actually give the camera a speed. So let's just go with one in our camera speed. Now we're going to hit the play button. And what you can see is it's already pretty dang rapid. And uh, it's a little bit hard to control. So we're going to come back into our script and make some minor adjustments there. As you can see, I've removed the green commented out sections for a start. What we also need to do is double check that everything is going the way we want it to. Now, currently, we have our X, uh, our both our left and right controls moving our object the same way. So that's one thing we have to fix. And as you can see, divided by 10 is still pretty rapid. So let's say we're going to divide our speed by 50. Let's save that again. And we're going to come back to our code and we'll run it again. Give it a moment. And there you go. Left and right, up and down, or down and up, depending on which way you are. And if you don't like the way that your W and uh, w, A, S, and D are set up, you can always come back to your script and you can change the direction of your W button by pressing, by swapping this minus and plus over to there, like so. And then when you come back into your script and you run it, you can see W and W now moves in the opposite direction. And that's really all there is to it. As you can see, it kind of looks like the object's moving, but actually it's our camera that's moving. Because I've got this running in a 2D game engine, it's 
really hard to tell which of which which is is which you could also change the size of your camera and other things but those are things that we'll talk about in another video thanks very much for watching that guys i hope you found that useful let me know what you think in the comments below and i will see you in the next one but until then you take damn good care of yourselves all right bye bye